loved ones gathering at the scene overcome with emotion. Our cameras capturing this distraught woman escorted by police into their mobile command center. It was heartbreaking to be able to stand with the father and just listen to the pain he was going through. And us as a community, we need to come together. They took my baby away after she came home from work. She was still in her work uniform. They took her from me. <laughs> A mother speaking out, breaking down after her 24 year old daughter is killed in broad daylight, and she hopes that a critical clue of the suspect will be enough to find her daughter's killer. I'm in a lot of pain, worst pain I've ever felt in my life. They broke my chain, they took a link. This is the story of 24 year old Lashante Jones, whose life took a dark turn when she encountered the sinister side of a pandemic relief loan. Lashante was shot dead while holding her young daughter outside of her Miami apartment block by a mask-wearing gunman. The shooting occurred after she had finished her time working at Miami International Airport and returned home to pick up her daughter from her sister's house. Who would want Lashante dead and how could someone take her life in front of her young daughter? Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes place in the vibrant city of Miami, Florida where palm trees sway to the rhythm of ocean breezes, and the sun-kissed beaches beckon locals and tourists alike. The place at which the winters are as warm as the summers and flowers blossom throughout the year. Amidst the bustling metropolis, tragedy struck in an unimaginable manner. In the heart of this lively city, we meet our unforgettable Lashante Jones. Loyalty, kindness, and love are just a handful of the numerous words that most accurately describe Lashante. She was well known in the community and was a really sociable and free-spirited person. Lashante filled the room with love and spirit for her loved ones. She and her mom and siblings had a really unique bond. She was a truly special young woman who had an exciting and fun-filled life. She made everyone around her happy and she had a contagious smile. Lashante valued hard work. She started off working for Walmart before moving on to join the Transportation Security Administration (TSA) of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security at Miami International Airport. However, July 7, 2017 marked the start of an entirely new chapter for Lashante. She gave birth to a stunning baby girl who was given the name Alaya. She was Lashante's favorite person whom she cherished more than anything else in the world. She gave her daughter an unimaginable amount of care and unconditional affection. On May 3, 2021, 24-year-old Lashante was coming back from work after picking up her daughter from her sister's house. She was seen on security camera heading towards her apartment. It was at this time, Javon Carter, who had been waiting outside Lashante's house, gunned her down, injuring her young daughter in the process. Emergency personnel were called and pronounced her dead at the scene. Her kid, who was hurt in the incident as well, was taken to the hospital in stable condition. Fortunately, she survived the attack. The search for a gunman is on after a young mother is killed and a child injured in a shooting. It happened at an apartment complex in Miami-Dade's Naranja neighborhood. Local 10 News reporter Joseph Ojo is live at the scene with the latest on this investigation. Joseph. Well, Janice, we are learning that that 24 year old woman was a TSA officer. She was killed right here behind me, gunned down. Her three year old was also injured, but that three year old is said to be in stable condition. From this orange evidence marker to the stairs stained with dry blood, signs of the deadly shooting Monday. Sky 10 over the scene showing the body of 24 year old Lashante Jones laying for hours at the foot of a staircase. We're trying to figure out what was the motive here. We're trying to figure out what caused this type of, of, of senseless violence. Jones was gunned down around 3.30 Monday afternoon at this apartment complex off of US 1 and Southwest 258th Street. Police say a dark gray four door Nissan drove up and someone inside opened fire. Jones was shot and killed, pronounced dead on the scene and sources tell local 10 her three-year-old child was grazed by a bullet. The child taken to Nicholas Children's Hospital, where she is now recovering. A spokesperson for TSA released a statement on Jones. Yesterday, we tragically lost one of our TSA officers who was killed as she returned home from the airport late in the afternoon. I am shocked and deeply saddened at the senseless act of violence that took a young, vibrant officer away from her family and away from us way too soon. Words just cannot properly convey the immense loss all of us are feeling at this moment.
Give us any type of description, doesn't matter how small it may be. Investigators can use every piece of information in order to hopefully come to a closure. Authorities identified a woman by the name of Jasmine Martinez as the mastermind of Lashante's murder. She was accused of creating a plan to kill Lashante, while Romeo Robinson was charged with recruiting Carter to carry it out. The investigation revealed that Martinez withdrew $10,000 from a PPP loan she had obtained in the days prior to the incident. She then allegedly used the cash as payment for Carter killing Lashante. Well, right now, you're about to take a look at newly released video that shows an alleged hitman counting stacks of cash shortly after police say he murdered a TSA agent outside her home in southwest Miami-Dade. The details here are unspeakably horrible and also just plain unbelievable. You got three people in jail here behind me charged with first-degree murder. Prosecutors say one of them used federal PPP money to pay another one to kill TSA agent Lashante Jones. And they say the alleged hitman then created the video you're talking about where he's supposedly counting the money right after the murder. I'm not a day in the office. You can interpret his words another day at the office any way you want, but quite frankly, as alleged by the prosecution, the only job he had to do that day at the office was to carry out this assassination. Prosecutors say Javon Carter not only pulled the trigger multiple times and murdered Lashante Jones right in front of her three-year-old daughter, but then they say Jones decided to record this selfie video in his car immediately after the broad daylight assassination. David Weinstein of Jones Walker is a former prosecutor. How much of a self-inflicted wound is this? He's not the first, nor will he be the last, to have created this self-inflicted wound. It adds both a flavor to the story that the prosecution is telling the jurors. And again, in today's age, jurors are almost demanding pictures and video and proof of evidence. Prosecutors say Jasmine Martinez paid Carter $10,000 to murder Jones, and they say Romeo Robinson arranged the crime. According to the arrest warrants, Martinez was arrested in 2018 for assaulting Jones, and she was also recorded in a jailhouse phone call saying, Jones has to die. The victim's mom spoke at a news conference last June. My daughter was taken away from me. She didn't deserve to be taken away from me. Her siblings, her friends, her cousin, and especially from her daughter. What man in his right mind would chase a woman with a baby to murder her? This man, according to prosecutors. In cases where it's a close call, that type of video is going to be something that puts the case over the edge and beyond a reasonable doubt for prosecutors. I'm not a damn all. Martinez, who owns a single employment beauty parlor, reportedly obtained the $15,000 loan provided to company owners suffering during the pandemic. Although it really is unclear if she actually had ownership of the salon. However, Martinez was already very much familiar with the victim and had previously been arrested and accused of assaulting Lashante in 2018. This resulted in Lashante testifying against Martinez in 2020. At the time, Lashante claimed being harassed, held at gunpoint, and robbed by two males after that court appearance. One of the males was later recognized as Kelly Nelson, Martinez's ex-boyfriend. Because of the alleged robbery, Nelson currently serves time in jail. The detectives investigating Lashante's death discovered records from jail phone conversations involving Nelson and Martinez. Martinez informed Nelson over the phone on February 11, 2021 that she was ready to go kill Lashante and that she must die. The following day, Robinson, now Martinez's boyfriend, allegedly got in touch with Carter. Back in March, Lashante again was approached by this group. And this time she had been the target of harassment and a certain amount of money had been offered so she wouldn't testify against Nelson. They even told her that Martinez needed Nelson home so he could help her with her kids just so she won't testify. But regardless of all that, the strong and powerful Lashante testified against Martinez and Nelson in April regarding witness tampering. Now this made her throw herself into the fire because as soon as she testified against them and gave her evidence against them, Robinson without even wasting a day got in touch with Carter to ask for an amount on the murder soon. 
And after a few days, surveillance footage of the incident showed a masked gunman shooting at Lashante and her kid while wearing a black sweatshirt and black track pants. Later, the suspect could be seen driving off in a dark gray 2019 Nissan Sentra vehicle. Romeo Robinson, 35, Jasmine Martinez, 33, and Javon Carter, 29, were taken into custody by Miami police on Friday in connection with the fatal shooting of Lashante. All three accused had been charged with murder in the first degree for the death of Lashante and for the attempted murder of her kid. Robinson and Martinez were additionally accused of plotting a murder against Lashante. These three have also had a long history behind them. Carter served nearly six years for numerous counts of theft, burglary, and firearms offenses before being released on Christmas Eve 2020, only months before the murder. Robinson on the other hand served 11 years and five months in prison on a number of charges of aggravated violence and armed robbery before getting out from state custody in October 2020. Robinson was arrested once more in the middle of December 2020 on suspicion of drug trafficking and avoiding arrest. Then comes none other than Martinez. Martinez had been charged with felony offenses against Lashante, who had allegedly dated Martinez's ex-boyfriend five years prior to her murder. After reportedly hitting Lashante in the face, Martinez was detained for battery in 2016, but the case was later dropped. Martinez was arrested by police once more in 2018 for assaulting her. However, the family chain had been broken and Lashante, one of four priceless jewels that belonged to her mother, passed away far too soon. Lashante's murder was senseless and that there was no solid reason to carry it out. The TSA in Miami put out a statement following Lashante's death. Last May, the TSA workforce here in Miami sadly lost the life of one of our own officers who tragically passed away in a cruel act of violence as she was returning home from the airport, said Dan Ronan, the TSA security director at Miami International Airport. Our young, bright officer was stolen from her loved ones and from us far too soon, and we are still grieving her tremendous loss. We appreciate the Miami-Dade Police Department's tireless efforts to track down Lashante's murderers. Darlene Dukes, Lashante's mother, experiences everyday sorrow from the silence of her cell phone. I have never been separated from a single one of my kids for as long as I have now. It has been a full year. I miss her calling me. Everyone had in their minds that it all began with a dispute over a boy. She said, I just never realized how it would lead to this, for Martinez to have Lashante killed. Before meeting her, my daughter had never been in a fight or had any enemies. Alaya is currently being raised by Darnisha and Darnika, the twin daughters of Duke. They claim that the girl is still traumatized. She remembers each and everything, said Dukes. What happened to Lashante was tragic. Let's keep Lashante's memory alive by spreading awareness about her story and demanding justice for her and her family. Our thoughts and prayers go out to her loved ones, and may we all strive to create a world where such tragedies never happen again. Remember to subscribe to our channel and give us a like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.